Hey guys, welcome back to those of you that don't know me. I am the garden lady and we are going to harvest some, I have a bin here of European night crawlers that I really need to get out of here because as you can see their castings, their home is just, it needs to be re, revamped I call it. Like they need new bedding. This is, um, they're done with this as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to um, check on them and we're going to put them through my new machine. It's, I'm calling it the beast because as you can see, it's a harvester. Look, look how it bounces. So Joe, Joe and I built this, well I designed it sort of, he, he helped build it and added his own touch to it, which he did an amazing job. So in here we have the quarter inch and down here we have the 1 16th, which I realize is too small. It catches the cocoons, perfect but it also catches a lot of the castings and preventing them from falling down here. Now, what does come down here is like the premium grade castings, which is okay, but I really need them more out of here so I could get the cocoons and reset them. So, last night I ordered the, um, what was it? 2.3 mm size mesh. And we got some other bins, so he's going to build me another set. And then I can always have this set if I really want, like, something like that. Because believe it or not, I've had people ask me, can I have the finest of the finest castings, the premium? And I've never been able to, like, provide that. So now with this, I can. I mean, it'll take me longer to harvest because obviously only a little bit comes out at once. But, hey, if people want it, I'll make it. So I have two sides here. Um, this is what he used don't even ask me what these things are it's come some kind of spring and this he left me the sticker for this somewhere so I could tell you what what it is because honestly I don't know <laughs> and this is just wood so what we did was I had an, another table just laying around and he screwed it into the table for stability See, it's very heavy and guys, have you seen the price of wood lately? Oh my gosh, it is unbelievable. The price of wood is incredible. Um, it just is. It's, it's ridiculous what wood is costing these days. So let me see, he left me this. Okay, this is the, the springs, if you wanna know the size. That's the spring. And then, I don't know where the sticker is for that other little thing. But anyway, we're going to crank this baby up and we're going to harvest these worms and get them situated. I also want to show you the motor. It's a little vibrating motor. I got it on eBay. And then, see Joe connected it down there. He did this thing with the wires. And then I got this to regulate the speed. But it doesn't work. Like, I don't notice any difference. So it shakes in one one speed, and that's what we're doing. So anyway, I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to turn it on. It might be loud. out 
Now, the wetter the castings are, obviously the harder it's going to be for them to fall. But every little bit that you could get out, trust me, later on to clean up your worms, it really helps. And down here are the cocoons. But you see, if I had the 2.3 mm instead of this 1 16th, the castings would have fallen and left the cocoons, or at least most of them. So I'm going to have to just fish them out. But, you know, I do see cocoons in here, like, like, where's one? Right here. See, they're, like, everywhere. I could spot them. So this is catching them. And then, of course, you know, we got the finest castings on the planet down here. So I'm very pleased with this thing. I really am. Um, it's I've definitely needed one. So now I'm going to get these guys out of there, and I'm going to set them up in their new home with fresh bedding. All right, so this is the one that caught the cocoons. As you can see, there are cocoons everywhere. There they are. There's some, there's some. There's a nice one. So when they're lighter in color, that means they were just hatched. When they're ready, um, no, they were just like laid. When they're ready to hatch, they'll turn like a darker brown, kind of like this one. And then these are the, these are the worms. So what I do now is I just start making a pile of worms and then little by little without my brush, I start brushing away their, um, their bedding and then I have a pile of clean worms. Now worms are never, ever, ever going to be clean 100% unless I put them through a sieve with water and I don't want to do that to them, honestly. Shocking enough for them to like be harvested and everything, so... Anyway, these are your paint night crawlers, by the way. They look awesome. So this is what we're going to do. And I'm going to keep you updated on when we build the other um, bins with the new size. And then we'll, we'll harvest some and practice with that. So since this has the castings in it, well, some of it, and has cocoons, what I do now is I take this and I mix it with fresh bedding. And then I put it in one of the bins to... And I dampen it with paper and uh, water and I put it in one of the bins to to hatch or I put it in the big nursery over here. These two nurseries are European Nightcrawler nurseries and they're loaded. So I might do that. You know, I, I, go, um, I, I go according to what my needs are at the moment and how much I've sold and like what do I have to do, you know. I'm not a huge farm yet at least so from home I just uh, I just do the best I can but you know everyone knows that I'm an honest person an honest seller I don't lie to you I don't send you dead worms and like argue with you I, I've seen people do that that's crazy so I have good practices all right guys so I'm gonna keep this going and uh, I'll keep you updated all right so these are the castings with the cocoons in them. Um, you see, there it's loaded with cocoons, but once I get the other size, I'll be able to get them out. Look at that's a nice looking cocoon. I used another little sifter that I have just to see with a 2.3 mm, and as you can see, it got more of the cocoons. And then we got the worms here, and. If I didn't do this, all of this would have still been mixed into this. So this is what I have to work with, which is okay because it's a lot less than all of that mixed in. So here we are. European night crawlers are amazing worms. They really are. They're great for composting. They're great for fishing. They tolerate cold pretty well. Definitely not a African nightcrawler. <laughs> Which, by the way, I'm going to make a video about them. I lost a chunk of them due to the freaking ice storm. So, this is doing really well, this machine. I really like it. So, I'm going to keep you updated on it. And uh, when we make the other bins, and then I'll show you how that works. And then... For now, I'm just going to keep chugging along here. We got, so this is the beast, 
And maybe this is going to be the Beast Junior. I don't know, because this one's pretty powerful, too. For those of you that don't know, this is my chow maker. Um, it's a pretty hefty machine. And we put it on this cart so it's easy for me to roll outside and harvest out in my backyard. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am going to continue to catch up on all my worm people up there. My... All right, so here's the bin I'm going to put them in. If I were going to sell these worms, I would definitely get all this off of them little by little with a brush and clean them up. But since I'm not going to, I'm just going to set them up for now. This is the bin I'm going to put them in. This is their home. So my bedding. I've, you know, I've changed my bedding through the years so many times. I just try to find things that are nutritious for them, um, but easier work for me, obviously, because, you know, I have a lot of bins and I have more coming. So I've had to figure this out with trial and error through the years. So this is chopped up straw that I buy in big bulky containers from Tractor Supply. I use straw for the garden like outside but I don't bring that outside straw in here because I did that one time and it had a few bugs in it. So I don't do that. I just buy this nice, clean, chopped up straw. Comes in big, um, a big square thing. Then I have, um, let me see. I have pit moss, which is that shredded paper. It's, it's like, yeah, it looks like newspaper that's been dampened and then just shredded into little pieces. Then I have a handful of peat moss. A little bit of lime for the acidity a little bit of grit sometimes I use sand some people say they don't like sand I do I've never had a problem with it sometimes I use oyster shell this one just happens to have a little oyster shell in it and then I dampen it up dampen it you know make it nice and moist breeding worms like moisture they do not they like their bin on the dry side because then they won't reproduce for you see look there is some water at the bottom. So if I think that's too much water, I'll get more of the pit moss, which will suck it all up. And then it'll be, there'll be less standing water at the bottom. So this takes them a while to break up, which is me having to harvest um, least. I just have to wait till they're done. So since I put European night crawlers in here, they're a bigger worm. So when someone buys worms from me, like I buy worm, I sell worms sometimes 100, 105 at a time or 200. I just come in here and I count them out. I just come in here and I count what I need and then I just put it back into reproduction. And then when this is like completely done, then I'll put it through the, the sifter. So this has worked out for me, guys. It's much easier it's less money on um, bedding that I have to spend because the bedding that I use here is very, very cheap. I do get free newspaper from the post office, so sometimes I'll use that too. So these are my bins right now. And I'm resetting all of them. And as you can see, I have less African night crawlers, man. They took a hit with the ice storm, but you know, business is, that's, that's how it is. You have wins and you have losses. So I know it sucks. So over here, we're going to put more bins. So this room slowly is going to convert and uh, you'll see a change, you know, as we go. So thank you for the new subscribers that I have and supporting my channel. I really appreciate you guys. I think I finally have my website fixed. I had to, you know, Wix.com didn't help me at all. So I had to just figure it out myself. And I'm going to try to keep free shipping on the worms to help you guys out. Cross your fingers. Spring is almost here. Um, we're really excited to get my seeds started this year. I'm going to really focus on my Cuban peppers because I really, really want to grow them. They are one of the most difficult peppers I've ever grown. And I don't know why. <laughs> they just are. So this is one of my Euro bins. Let's check them out. See, they're eating. They love the new chow that I have made. Now my chow production has evolved through the years and I noticed that sometimes it sprouts these green things and that's because it's nutritious so if yours starts sprouting like this one you just I just break it up and it goes right back in there and they eat it so yeah my chow has been 
in the making for a long time. You know, I've taken everything I've learned from other farmers and just incorporated it. And I finally have the recipe that I like. So anyway, guys, I will keep you posted on this. Thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all. Down here we have the Louisiana. I have some Africans in there. So I'll keep you posted on all this. So take care. Good night.